Okay, so Yeti's got an upgrade in the last update, and to me, I actually have found them surprisingly strong. I've used them once in Legends before on a day early in the season, and they, they did really, really well. So let's see how they can go live on stream today. Um, I don't think they're stronger than Pekka Smash uh, to answer a question in the chat, but I do still think that they are quite strong, and they've got their place. So let's see how they go here. Oh, okay. Well, this is a nice common base early up. Um, this will be a real test. I, I actually don't... <laughs> no! Hooks! You need the log launcher for this base. Okay, we're gonna Yeti bomb the town hall then, or can we slammer it? Now, this is a... Actually, no, we can... I actually don't mind the Yeti bomb for this. This isn't actually bad. This is usable. We do need the queen to go in. Man, ground bows are super rough, huh? Phew. I want the queen to get this air defense down. Because I want to be able to take down these two ground bows. We might have to use another rage here in a second. Uh, we didn't get... That Yeti bomb didn't get as much as I'd like. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Still not horrid value. It's just going to be about a... Uh... Owl, help out, please. I'm actually just going to use the king, because I want to tank all of this good stuff. We can use one Yeti to funnel, and then the others will go in. We've already taken out the Eagle, so I'm not really worried about a... Uh, not really worried about the Yetis not being in Warden range yet. So this is just a time thing. We've set up a great funnel here. Like, this is a great funnel. It's just taken a bit too much time, and maybe one Rage too many. Witches on the outside, though, are going to do great work. We've got a bunch of freezes left. Everything goes in. Perfect. We pop the Warden. The Yetis are still going super strong. I put the Wizard on the top because I felt the Witch needed it. But I think I'm going to regret... Um, not using the uh, witch down, uh, the wizard down the bottom, because I think that might cost us time. We'll see in a second. Because that wizard did die on the top. Oh, we've got an archer as well. This looks like time to me. Damn, that's unfortunate. No, it's maybe not even time. Is that a fail? Yikes! Yikes! So. I messed up there, that's on me. We should have had the log launcher, and that's a lesson to you all with the Yeti Smash. You've got to bring every s single um, siege machine possible. Technically, is a time fail, but we s still uh, should have tripled that. Um, this plan normally walks, works with the log launcher, but still, we'll take that. Let's see if we can go a bit better in the next attack. Okay, we do have the right siege machines for this attack. Let's see how the Yeti Smash goes. Okay, this is uh, a lower end Legends base. Um, I will admit I'm not as high in Legends as I normally am when you guys see me on the channel, but we're still, uh, we're not ridiculously low. Um, so this is quite an unusual base for me to find, and I have no idea what to do with it, to be honest. <laughs> How does one take this down with Yetis? I kind of just want to Yeti bomb the Town Hall. So, we're going to Queen Charge the CC here. Dealing with the CC early is never a bad idea. Unless it's... An E drag. Oh, what? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I didn't know that was a. So, in the past, the E drag could not hit your um, healers off the queen, but now that you actually have the unicorn in between, 
The E-Drag can chain from the Queen to the Unicorn. <laughs> well, that's new. That's... I would have poisoned a lot earlier. I was just trying to poison the balloons. I figured they were a bigger threat, but no, apparently not. Oh, that's a bit of a laugh. Sweeper's been a bit of a problem, but that's fine. Just want to get this funnel set, and whichever way the queen goes, our Yeti Smash will come in. And it looks like she's going up. We can hit that junction. Uh, let's start like the king like here. Oh, he's going to come down, isn't he? Oops, we messed that up. I thought the scatter was on my uh, healers for a sec. Do need some of the yetis to come back. Warden does get everything. We're just going to use the RC up the top. Oh, the healers switched to the yetis on the tunnel. That's unfortunate because these healers could very well die here. I think we're good. We'll see in a sec. But we got a lot of yetis going around the base. Witches are doing good work cleaning up the top. We can use that archer there. The yak's still up. The king isn't, but look at this yak go. Hey, Sam. Queen pops? What? How did she pop? She was just full health a second ago. I, I looked away from her for a reason. We just freeze so that the multi can't hit uh, the queen. And yeah, we got it. It's not an overkill. In fact, it's very far from an overkill, but it's just enough to get the job done. We got plenty of yetis up. The yetis, super tanky at the moment, um, even though they are a little squishy, but probably not the best base, but... Uh, to show it on, but they can work even in low legends. Let's hope we can run into a few more legit bases today. Okay, let's see if we can run into a somewhat more legit base. Oh, this is legit. Now, the town hall is only a level one town hall, so that part's going to be nice on us, but all the springs in the core are not going to be as forgiving. So let's see how we can figure this one out. When? You're going to tell me how wrong I'm doing this. And I'm sorry that I am doing it wrong. But we're gonna try, okay? Okay. Wait. Essentially, I want to water walk a lot of this corner. Then I want to log launcher from the bottom. And clear out, like, a lot of that. Um, I'll probably put the log launcher off-center to get this cannon and the air defense down for a better funnel. Um, and then, uh, it's just going to be full steam ahead through the core. I hope I got that. That's very close. Okay. Time to come back, Warden. You've, uh, gone for a bit of an adventure. Everything's deployed. Healers are on my yetis. We'll freeze the tunnel and the uh, CC. Yetis all run outside the base. That's not a bad thing, though. That's actually not a bad thing. As long as uh, my king in the core can get rid of these multis, we'll be okay. Rage Unicorn is too insane. And yeah, this worked. Even with the Yetis going outside, I don't think... I don't know if this is like a true demonstration of the power of the Yetis, unfortunately. Because it just showed that when you get your King and Queen and a few healers in the core, that uh, you can wreck the core of the base. 
But the Yetis did okay work. None of them have died by the look of it. Um, or maybe one or two of them have died, but I mean, look at that. Swag, Rage, um, always a good sign. And uh, look, the Yeti's doing good on the inside and on the outside of the base. Nice level one tunnel, thanks, Wen. Your support is really big. But we do get the triple here, uh, Swag RC ability. She did great work with the Yetis out of the siege bat, out of the log launcher, sorry, on the outside of the base, and we get another 40 cups. Okay, come on, max base with a tough layer. Ooh, this is a max base and it's an anti-2. What a toxic little anti-2 this is. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't... I think I'm going to ward... We're going to do similar to the last attack. I'm going to ward and walk 12. We're going to log launch a 3 and Yeti's in between. That seems like the uh, simplest approach here for Yeti Smash. Oh, I did not need all four healers. Generally, if you're not going to need all four healers, all five of your healers, put as minimal as possible on the warden so that you can put the other healers straight onto the yetis. Um, that's uh, my philosophy. Okay, philosophy is probably a bit stronger word for it. That's just what I do. Okay. Man, I'd love to get this air bow, though. That would be kind of nice for parthing. But at minimum, I kind of need to get these two cannons and these two elixir storages. And I'm not going to put down any more Coco Loons because they're more likely than not going to pull the CC. Warden can't really deal with the CC. He's a bit of a nub. We have so... These are upgraded... Um... I want to put it here because if the, the Yetis will go to this cannon... And they'll be inside the actual jump uh, radius, and they're more likely to use it that way. Warden should come over. King getting hit by everything, that's fine. Yet again, freeze the town hall and po and the super minions so that we can poison everything. Nice warden. I like how not all the yetis are in the core, to be honest. You split, get them to split so that some are inside the town hall poison, doing obviously the work they are. And uh, some are on the outside helping out. We can use our RC down the bottom. I think this is pretty clapped though. I think this is really clapped. Look at these yetis. Once they get... If they get through the town or poison, like, there's nothing the base can do. They're gonna help take out this back end scatter as well. Super wizards on the bottom. This is crushed. This is crushed. Now, the real... The real test would be if I could hit this exact base with the peckers as well. Would this work as well? Ultimately, it's up to you um, to make that decision. I think this works just as well, if not better. The Yetis just get across the base so quickly. Um, we've still got, I've still got swag spells, swag abilities, you name it. Um, plenty of that going around, and I don't know if that's possible with the Yetis. Maybe you've got a different opinion, but either way, I'm kind of liking the Yetis at the moment. We're having a good day so far. Let's see if we can get another triple. Let's go. Let's see if we can get another triple here. Coming in on... Ooh, okay. This is an interesting base. It's a legit diamond, though. Three singles. Singles aren't bad for yetis. Think. Do we want a yeti bomb? Yeah, I think I want a yeti bomb. Unfortunately, the Yetis won't be able to take out the heroes, but they will get the uh, Eagle down and all the defenses around. Oh, it's a Yeti Bomb defensive CC. Okay, that kind of helps. For obvious reasons. What, Valk? Don't do it! Believe it or not, you do actually need a poison for Yetis. It always surprises me as well.
Okay, gonna do the combined. Um, man, look at that. The Yeti mites do so much. Okay. Headhunter is gonna do work here. And look at that. Because you're doing the water walk with uh, it all, the king can't actually one-shot them. Now, we do actually just randomly leave that RC up. I'm gonna have to remember that for later. One minute 40 should be enough time. Oh, that was unlucky. That freeze was half a second late there. But we're still okay. We're still looking okay here. If this ice golem could die, that would be huge. Perfect. Look at the timing on that. I wanted to send my RC over there, but with this whole area staying up on the right-hand side, I feel like I maybe should have wall broke my king in. Witches are going to do great tanking. My queen's coming back as well. Maybe I put my RC on the wrong side. We got heaps of time, though. We got a bunch of yetis up. That, that ice golem was huge in this army. Queen's gonna die, but I'm okay with that. I'd much rather save my invis to deal with this royal champion on the back end. I'm gonna wall break that. Maybe that was the wrong thing to wall break. We'll find out later, I guess. RC, do not pop. I think I messed up. Come on! I invis the defensive champion! It's so low! Don't you dare! No! <laughs> Maybe I should have popped my champ early. I don't know how I could have done that better. No, we were so close, but so far another time fail for us today. How on earth did that time fail? Okay, after that cruel time fail, let's see... Let's see if uh, we can get one. Oh, this is a genuine legit base. We finally found a teaser. Okay, we got we got to do the trick. We got the invis. What? Oh, okay. We it's only one archer anyway. Look at that. Take out the CC. We can actually use the poison on these heroes. Because if we're not going to use it on these heroes, what are we going to use it on? But the heroes are all down anyway. Insane trick. Takes out the CC. That's one of my favorite tricks you can do against these teaser bases. But essentially, I'm just going to take this town hall and then we're going to... Hopefully, I might need a second rage here, to be honest. Because the queen's probably going to do what she does best. Yep, stand on the town hall poison and a bunch of damage. I don't know why that wall breaker didn't get the junction. Look at that. My queen's trying to uh, not help her own cause out here. Oh, she's died. I tried to hit the warden ability. Man, this is going bad. We popped the warden early. I've still got a random blimp. However far that goes, we'll live with it. I think we still get it though. Look at these yetis. Whoa, we're actually seeing the power of the yetis more in this. And they did work. They did work there. There's still so many of them up. The yeti bomb at the bottom was really nice. And this is pretty crushed. This is pretty crushed. So we, not only in this one did we get... To, oh, what? What's my ice golem doing? How did my ice golem die all the way up there? Um, 
I don't know how my Ice Golem managed that one. That's kind of an impressive feat. But on this, you not only saw a cool trick to take out these teasers with the Invis Rage combo, but you also see the power of the Yetis when there's no Queen up. And the healers weren't really on the Yetis there. They kind of spent more time on my RC than anything, which was obviously valuable. But yeah, that was kind of nice. Nice spring. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Glad I didn't send my Yetis over the springs for the Ice Golem up there. But yeah. No time failing this one. You can keep those two freezes and your trolley base to yourself. Look at, there's still so many yetis up. Gotta love it. Uh, nicely done there and I'm kind of liking this the more and more we do the army. Can we still get plus 300? We gotta triple the last two attacks for that to happen and... Yikes, this is an old base. Man, I haven't seen this base in yonks a long time. Okay. The real question is, do we log launch at this base? Do we go all or nothing, chat? I think we do. I think we do log launch at this base. Have a bit of fun. Oh, we've got to place the warden. I do kind of want to get this multi, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Like, it's a long way. But to be honest, if I can just clear some of the stuff out, that will be enough. Actually, no. I'm okay with not getting the multi. I just want to get the funnel on this side. Okay. What do I want the multi? This is actually more gettable than I thought. Builder, stop healing. Warden, start one-shotting buildings, you nub. No, Warden, go for the... Go for the multi. Oh, man, he really doesn't want the multi, huh? I don't know how that war that Warbreaker did not want the junction, but... Go it. Okay, this has taken too long now. I'm seriously worried at this point. I'm not placing the super wizard. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. The log launcher was too late. We messed up. We messed up big. Let's see if we can uh, still somehow recover this. Wait a second. The queen went in. It's kind of all you need to go in the base. I wish uh, we had a bit more healing on her. Don't know how my warden's taken so much damage. Yeah, this isn't a triple. This is not a triple. In fact, we've just got to find a way to secure the two star here. Maybe we can? Hmm. I'm a little, uh, conflicted. Did I miss the tunnel with the freeze? I hope I didn't. Jeez, yeah, this is a big one star. This is a big one star. No! We got so close! Come on! Queen, go for the town hall. I kind of need you to. This is kind of a big thing. Okay, we got it. Man, log launches are so slow. I do not like log launches. I wish they got the walls quicker. If we got everything into the core there, I'm pretty confident that's a triple, but good to see that even when everything goes wrong, we can save the two star, but there goes our plus 300 day. No. Bad log launcher. Bad log launcher. That was close. That was indeed, but we still get an okay trophy total. Okay, our last attack of the day here. I've had a bit of fun today with the Yetis. Oh, a box base. It's a box base chat. We haven't seen a box base today. Ooh. I wonder if we'll be able to get away with it. No, I'm not taking that risk.
Damn. Oh well. The Yetis didn't get a whole lot, did they? really need my king to run to the outside of the base. That's often what I struggle with on these bases though. Getting my king to go to the outside. See, all my super wizards have gone to the outside instead of my king. Oh. The healers have not switched. Oh, that's so bad. There's nothing I can do about that. The Yetis all die. Not really their fault. But the healers just simply did not switch off my queen. Can we still somehow get it? Surely not, right? Warden switched off my queen. Yeah, we're not getting this. That's such a shame. I, I genuinely think Yetis are really strong, guys, and I think we would have seen it on this base, but the healers did not switch at literally any point, and I have no idea why. They had every reason to. There was, like, a truckload of damage on everything but my, uh, but my queen. I don't know how the queen kept the healers. I don't know how she managed that. That's such a shame. It was a good warden ability. King Funnel was really bad, but it's so hard to funnel on these bases. Um, maybe I could have water walked the tunnel, but this is how we saw the Super Giants player attack these bases on the channel. And yet he's kind of operate in a similar way. That's a shame. Fall a little short on the last couple of attacks. Um, Yeti Smash should work on box bases, so I'd love to give this another go. Maybe I try something else, like a water walk from the bottom side here to get rid of... But then the King's there. Oh, you can't really warden walk that, can you? Maybe a queen walk around here and then yeti bomb the multi and then use my king to take out the town hall and come through like that. That could work. But yeah, that, that there just did not work at all. But we can have a look at our day quickly here. And 278. Yikes. That last attack was a little better. Could have got a nice day. Um, but we saw quite a few triples here, but also... Time fails and a few low percent fails to end the day. So what do you think of Yetis? Let me know down below. Would love to hear your opinion. But that's it from me. Hopefully you had a nice day and maybe I'll see you soon.